Psalm chapter 22, verse 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. So, people here for bed, just a quick little lesson on just fearing the Lord. Bring out a couple of scriptures, it ain't even a, a long lesson. I'm about to head out. I'm gonna make this daily bread, the water. Yeah, I was shot forward. You know, the Lord is controlling everything. That's why we must fear him. Everything that you see going on throughout the four corners of the earth is being controlled by the God of the Bible. You know, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. That's, that's why, that, that, it's many reasons why we should fear the Lord. Then remember, this is the whole duty of man. Let's get this one more time. Psalms 22, 23. Ye that fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, praise him. And how do we praise the Heavenly Father? In the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, right? Is all ye the seed of Jacob, the Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Jacob, but then you got Israel glorifying these other entities, false entities, and I want to get this right quick. Let's get Psalms. Scripture said, fear him, right? Quick little lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, the elect was edified. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this. Psalms 90, what is that? 96. The Lord controls everything, man. This devil really going hard out here, man. You know, he's trying to, he's trying to, sleaze, he's pretty much trying to have everybody through out here, man. You know, everybody. Let's get this, though. That's why we must fear the Lord. Because he's the sword of the Lord. Sleaze, he. He's the whipping stick of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. We, we must remember that. Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared. Remember, that's the lesson for the day, fear, fearing the Lord. He is to be feared above all gods. You don't fear Allah. You don't fear Buddha. You don't fear Santa Maria. You don't fear the Hindu God of Shiva because they're not real. All right? They're not real. You fear the creator that created the heavens and the earth. All right? I mean, unless you, unless you want to die or whatever, you know. You see, it says, it says seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Israel, all hell breaking loose. Every state, every city, every country, all hell breaking loose. You, you can't run from it. You can't get away from it. We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to protect us from all these things. You know all kind of shit in the air right about now. You know. One day you're feeling fine. The next, day, the next thing you know, you, you're going through hell. Your body going through hell. That's why we must fear the Lord. It says, for all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, made the heavens. And I want to jump down to verse um, 8. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, the glory due unto his name. How important that name is? If you fear the Lord, you're most definitely going to confess those names. You know, you're not going to say you fear the Lord, but you don't confess those high, holy, proper names in the Hebrew tongue. No, you're going to confess those names. Verse 8, Psalms 96 and 8. Give unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering, which is your body, a living sacrifice, and come into his courts. Let's get Ecclesiastes. Like I said before, just a quick little lesson on fearing the Lord. These lessons are always good. Constantly going over lessons like this. It's America really going through it right about now, man. All kind of shootings this morning, stabbings, fires. You 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 name it, man. Talks of war. People um, testing missiles. You know, Kim Jong Un testing missiles. It's going down. Let's get this Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator. You're supposed to remember him now. Once you hear this word, you're supposed to remember your creator, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Start fearing. It says, I'm in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not. Now we're in the midst of evil days, bad times now. You got to really seek the Lord now, man. 
It, it most definitely ain't no playing around now. You, you got to do it quick. So when you hear these words, jump to it, Israel. So ain't no laughing matter. It is why the evil days, bad times come not, which they're here. You see more storms, more hurricanes, more war, more earthquakes, more violence, more crime. People run up in stores, man. People breaking in your cars, stealing every damn thing. More home invasions. That's why we must fear the Lord, man. So he can protect our houses. So he, so that he can have the angels um, with a hedge of protection around us, right? It says, um, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Because it's going to get that bad. So when you Israelites going to play around, pussyfooting around, um, twiddling your fingers, all hell going to break loose. And the Lord like, nah, you should have been seeking me. I have my men. Look, look, look. Why the evil days come not? Why the Lord still got his men out there on the highways and byways, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishops of the great millstone. Look, man, seek the Lord. Verse um, 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This, is the, this pretty much sums up everything, Israel. Fear the Most High, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and keep his commandments. We rehearse the righteous acts that, that shows our faith. For this is the whole duty of man. This, this is why we was created. We was created to fear the God of the Bible, man. Let's go back. Psalms, Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. You're not going to be lacking anything. Even though this devil saying you, you ain't gonna be able to go into his stores, I mean we repeat these things all the time. You ain't gonna be able to get no water. The Lord said you ain't gonna want nothing. You ain't gonna lack nothing if you fear me. The Israelites that don't fear the God of the Bible, man, you got a rude awakening coming. Once again, Psalms thirty-four and nine. Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ye his saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're the saints, right? For there is no want to them that fear him. Let's see. St. Luke 12, 5. But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him, which after he have killed, have power to cast in, into hell, which is a condition played out on earth. Right? It's not, it's not someplace up on the ground, burning for all eternity. No, man. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. So many times that word fear was in that scripture? Letting you know how deadly serious it is when it comes to fearing the God of the Bible. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord can actually destroy that body, man. Send the spirit back up to the heavens. Send that spirit right back down into another body. Destroy it. Send that spirit right back up to the heavens. Send that spirit right back down into another body. Torture it. You, 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 see, you see where I'm coming from? You see where I'm coming from, right, Israel? Let's see what else. Like I said before, a quick little lesson. It's going to get bad out here, Israel. I mean, real bad, bad to the bone. Psalms 115, 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. You, you see that? You see that? He will bless them that fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, both small and great. Both small and great. But look, he's going to destroy those that don't fear him. You see? He's going to bless, a.k.a. show favor to the Israelites that fear him. And he's going to destroy those that don't fear him. Look, you, you get that? Do you get that? Psalms 115, 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushak, both small and great. The Lord getting ready to take our people through pure hell. They ain't going to have no way out. You see, they ain't going to have no way out. Let's get that right quick. Remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we do these videos. I don't feel good this morning. I got a headache, but I'm still doing this lesson, man. It's, it's all about putting in this work. It's all about putting in this work. Jeremiah 11, and I got to go to work. Jeremiah 11, verse 11. We blow it up. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, behold, I will bring evil upon them. This is talking about the children of Israel. He's going to bring evil on the Israelites that don't fear him. The Israelites that haven't repented. The Lord says he's going to bring evil, meaning bad times, and we in the midst of it now. I'm looking at the news. A whole a couple of people got stabbed up, got shot last night. 
you know, it, it, it really went down, you know what I'm saying, throughout the wee hours of the night. That's your how about Shem Yahushua bringing evil upon our people for not fearing. Therefore, thus said the Lord, your how about Shem Yahushua, behold, I will bring evil, meaning bad times upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. You're not going to escape the wrath of your how about Shem Yahushua. Look, at least ye repent, repent now. Don't wait, Israel. What are you waiting on? It's getting worse and worse out here, man. You see? This is devil throwing all kind of stuff in the air, man. It's getting worse and worse. Man. They're having all these different recalls on food and all that, man. Dog food, regular food, beef. Come on, man. It's getting worse and worse out here. The Lord said, you ain't going to be able to escape the evils, meaning the bad times. And though they shall cry unto me, because Israel's getting ready to cry bitterly. Snot coming out their nose. Tears coming all down their face, eyes all watery. You're going to show enough cry. You're going to be catching that much hell. Ain't going to be no relief whatsoever. Men, women, and children. They're going to go through it. At least ye repent. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hawk and mean and listen unto them. Because look, because look, if you're not listening, why would you want somebody to listen to you when you're not listening? A answer that question. Why would you want somebody to listen to you when you're not listening? You see? Let's see. A couple more scripts and I'm going to wrap it up. Let's see. Bear with me. Oh, yeah. Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and depart from evil. Turn back. Repent. Turn back. It's, it's really getting ready to go. It's going down now, hell. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and depart from evil, man. Let's see. Psalms 115 and 11. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He is their help. In that shield, because we sure enough need help right now. We need some protection right about now. This devil coming hard, boy. Straight up. And, it, and look, and this devil ain't going to lit up Israel. All right? Just know that. This devil is not going to lit up. This is Psalms 2 and 11. Serve the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh with fear and rejoice with trembling. You see? Let's see. Second Chronicles chapter um, 19 and 7, it reads, Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, no respect of person, persons, nor taking of gifts. You can't bribe the Lord off. He don't want your money. He don't want your credit card, your black card. You know, he don't want you to bake him no cakes or nothing like that. No, the Lord, the Lord wants us to fear. He commands us to fear. You see, Psalms 34 and 11, come, ye children, children of Israel, hearken, meaning listen unto me. I will teach you, the Lord set up service. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, so the Lord got up men, able-bodied men on the highways and byways, teaching you the fear of the Lord. So just a quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord, one of the elect is edified. I'm about to get out of here. Just want to do something just fearing the Lord. Remember, remember, Israel, the Lord is controlling every fashion of everything, man. And we and we sure enough need him. But that ain't gonna be the dead horse, Lord, one of the electric butterfly, fear the Lord. Shut up.